Hey guys, my name is Roland. Um, and welcome to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, uh, or not Garden Warfare, what am I saying? Plants vs. Zombies 2. I'm gonna actually be making a let's play on this now. A few things before we get into this video. Number one, um, I am recording on the phone again, yes, and for multiple reasons. Number one, uh, at the moment my dad is using my tablet. I guess it's for work reasons or something, I'm not sure, but whatever it is, I don't really have it. I have my Kindle, but the YouTube thing on that is utter crap, so I'm not using that. So, we're back to the phone, ladies and gentlemen. Hip hip hooray. Um, also, I haven't been uploading a lot because I've had lots of schoolwork to do. Yeah. So, and yes, I know... In the About Me page, I do say I am homeschooled, but even then, that doesn't stop me from having my own fair share of projects and quizzes and stuff to do. So, yeah, that's another reason I haven't been uploading or live streaming that often. Um, a lot of you might have already known that. Well, I don't think any of you know this, but I also had a tournament to go to. So, yeah. Sorry about all that, um, I will try to get back to uploading, um, hopefully I can get back to steadily uploading, I know, I know you guys were wondering, like, hey, what happened, and all that, now with the stream, um, what I like to say is that, um, that kind of crashed on itself, it crashed on itself, I got way too annoyed to do it again, because I was thinking, oh, god, no, so, yeah, I kind of just stopped for a while, but yeah, so now that I've gotten all of that out the way, uh, I hope you guys can understand. Um, you know, schoolwork can just stink an RKO you sometimes. But yeah, so I'm back in the saddle. Yep, playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. So I've played this game quite a while back, kind of like what Plants vs. Zombies 1. Be sure to comment down below if you want me, uh, if you want me to do a Let's Play series on that. Which I will gladly do. But yeah, Plants vs. Zombies 2. They have updated the ever-living crap out of this game since I've last been here. Now they've got this upgrade system. With stats. This is this is kind of foreign. I don't know any of this. I'm upgrading my walnut just because, you know, more toughness. Good for me. But yeah, so I'm back and... Now, you can try and see. Alright, now, I'm gonna get back in. I'm gonna start doing what I do best, which is horrible commentary and jokes. Yay me! Alright. So, live streaming will be pretty short handed for a while. I am sorry for you guys who really like my live streams. Um, I will be discontinuing them for quite a while till I can get my tablet back. So until then, yeah, back on the phone. Yay me. Anyways, no need for sun. Plants are coming via special delivery. Yay! But yeah, I've already played a few of these levels just because I was kind of bored and all that. Oh yeah, I forgot they added in a new turbo button feature. Eh, that always comes in handy sometimes. Not all the time, though. It does get frustrating. So, the Cabbage Pult. Uh, I remember the good old days of Plants vs. Zombies 1 were, you know, these things, like, you had to beat, I think, like, four other, wor four other entire stages just to get them. Yeah, the good old days. But, yeah. So... With Plants vs. Zombies 2, um, if you guys haven't played the game, which I suggest you guys should try out, it is free after all, and I highly recommend that you get it, or at least, you know, give it a try. Ooh. But yeah, so now we're in this time travel, like, craze setup. I may do Plants vs. Zombies 1, um, as a Let's Play Series 2. On my tablet, I kind of pretty much almost beat it. So, I may be, I may do a different profile for that, if it does, um, if I do, um, do a Let's Play series on that. 
But yeah. So, as you see here, just absolutely gutting these zombies alive. You have these boomerang plants, which... Well, what does it look like? They throw boomerangs that pierce through enemies. Glorious. But yeah, again, sorry for not uploading too often. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna say for certain if I will still be uploading often. I mean, again, it's been weeks since my last live stream, so, yeah. Don't get your hopes entirely up. Don't want you guys getting the wrong idea here. Alright, let's, uh, do that. You know, get a few extra spuds. Yes, but now. Oh god, these guys are actually coming in pretty fast. I should probably use the plant at my disposal. Yeah, real smart thinking there, buddy. Real smart thinking. Alright, let me plant down these potato mines and start juicing them up. up. Whee! Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, tell me how you guys think about me making a Let's Play series on this, because I will gladly do it. Uh, yeah, as you see here, pretty much beat this level without any, uh, crucial, crucial difficulties, which is good. See if, uh, this thing, will, yep, blows up. And, what do you know? Alright, win world keys. Four levels remaining. Oh yeah, there's also different worlds in this game. Ooh. Crazy Dave's Jar of Preserved Powers. Oh yeah. You have some power-ups to show you how to use them. Yee. Yeah, and now we can break the sea. Wait, now we can break the seal. Let's get crazy. I thought it said C. I was about to say, like, my gosh, mate, English quiz. So, yeah, we got the power snowball spell. Uh, pretty self explanatory. You throw a bunch of lethal snowballs, which apparently kill people. Yay. Power toss, which gives you the ability to literally toss everyone. Just fling them away. And then power zap, which you hold down the button and it does a lot of damage. This is good. Get rocked. Now I have to beat an entire level via power-ups. I usually just go for the snowball power-up because, let's be honest, this thing's like the most powerful thing you have. So, yeah. Just gonna, just gonna spam the snowball spell. I mean, eh, let's try a few other spells. This one's good for lots of area damage. This one's pretty much an insta-kill. Unless you're fighting those Gargantuars, then in which case, you know, have a little of that. Also, it knocks them into other lanes, so if you have a trap for them, like a ton of potato mines, then I recommend you use this for that. Now I'm just gonna absolutely machine gun them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now time to kill even more fools. Yay. No, please. N no. No. No, I don't I don't want to see you anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I'm just going to murder the rest of them with a bunch of snowballs. Who knew snowballs could be a zombie's worst nightmare? Speaking of snowballs, we're going to ice-related plant. Yay! Three levels remaining until we get that world key. So, all right. Let's get into this. Three zombies in a minute. Also, I am aware that there is a new Wings of Duty update. I mean, obviously, people haven't been commenting on, to me on that. But yes, I do know that there is a new Wings of Duty um, update. The Hawker Hurricane Mark II. I've uh, looked at a few videos on it, and what am I going to say? I may do a how-to plane review on it. Oh my gosh, I haven't done that series in like months. Alright. Oh wait, uh, I forgot the dialogue. Visit the store. Engineer Japan, yeah, might be what we're looking for. Take these gems and buy one. Ah, but what if I want to save those gems? No? Okay, fine. And we get more money. Because that's what we... Ooh! Bloomerang, eh? Yay. 
much. Kind of find it funny how you find a boomerang related plant in Egypt and not in Australia. Potato mine. Spud out. Yay. Alright, so there we go. Hot date attracts and burns zombies. Okay. Mistletoe launches chilling blast. Oh, I get it. Hurricane, dandelion, call of power. Hypnotizes random zombies. Parsnip. Wasabi whip. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these plants. Bomb granite. Bomber granite. Oh, I get it. Classic cactus chomper. Explodo nut, eh? My god, there are a bunch of these guys. Eh. Ah. Well, let's get back into this. Alright. <coughs> Ugh. Walmart Pinatas, complete travel logs quest, four times up, new quests show up every day. Yay. Living in, alright. Ooh, new zombies, eh? Oh, I forgot to upgrade my boomerang and all of them. Well, we got a level 2 pea shooter, so I might as well try it out. I have an extra seed slot, what could I go for? And eh, that's for the later levels. Okay. Okay, let's uh, get into this, boys and girls. Coins power up. You can buy one coin. Just tap on the door to get out of your own business. Yay! Kind of sad that I don't start out with power up, but yeah. Now, here's the one reason why I think Plants vs. Zombies 2 was a little overboard. You get 50 sun. Literally 50 sun. Back in the old game, you know, like Planet of Zombies 1, you get 25, and that make it to where, you know, you really have to save up for what you got. But now, it's kind of like, oh, there you go. Hopefully my rank 2 pea shooter can kill that guy in like three whole lane blocks, I guess. Whatever. But yeah, so like, 50 sun. In fact, there was a time, literally no joke, there was a time where I thought, like, you know, I didn't even use sunflowers, I just used the sun that came out of the sky. And I got in pretty far with that. But obviously I ended up dying on some of the later levels and then I realized, hey, sunflowers are actually good for something. <laughs> they produce extra sun. But yeah, I mean, you get like stinging 50 sun. So, I mean, it doesn't take a while to get one of the really OP plants if you have them. I mean, obviously, you have to unlock them by doing the levels, and some of these levels can be stinking hard, mate. But really, if you just get a twin sunflower, that's a hundred sun. Just a hundred sun from one plant. That's kind of overboard, mate. Just gonna, just gonna point that out there. So, the pea shooter. It's, well, a pea shooter. Shoots a bunch of random, just shoots a bunch of peas at a zombie and it apparently kills it. Because the zombie's worst nightmare is peas. Oh god, we have one of these enemies. Now, though I haven't played this game in a long time, I still have quite a few memories uh, of this game. And boy, were these guys a problem. Now, obviously, they're not anymore. I mean, jeez, man. Stinking rank 2 pea shooters are just... Good god, I wonder what a max level with pea shooter would be. Probably not a pea shooter. An upgraded pea shooter is what it would be. In fact, I wonder what happens when I give it its special ability with it. Probably absolutely would demolish everything. But yeah. So, basic strategy. Basic plants versus zombie strategy. Plant your sunflowers in the back, get a nice economy going, and then just put all of your attackers up front. Walnuts are good in defense. I mean, they are wall nuts. <laughs> I know, I definitely know how to joke. Hey, I did say that there would be terrible jokes. 
All right. Ooh, a sprout. Zen Garden. That's another feature. The Zen Garden. Oh, boy. It can be really useful. But, yeah, let's just beat this level. These guys aren't really that much of a challenge. I mean, then again, when I played it, the last time I played it, I mean, it was during a time where, you know, the, the whole ranking system didn't exist back in my day. But, yeah, we pretty much got the, we, these guys are murdered. They're just, they're just dead. They're absolutely wrecked. Just three pea shooters, man. Ain't no zombie can handle three pea shooters. Look at that. Destroyed. And what do we get? Pr a prize box. All right. One world keys. Two levels remaining. Yeehoo. All right. Give it to me straight. A new costume. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's also costumes in this game. There's actually quite a lot of them. And some of them actually look pretty good. One step closer to the boss, my friends. And what do we have here? So you found a sprout. Maybe if you water it, you'll get coins. At least I think that's how that works. Ooh, a marigold. Yep, gotta give it water. Alright. Yeah, yeah, give me all your stinking gems. Wow, all of those gems and it only translated to two. Oh, I think it kind of glitched out. Yay. But yeah, as you see here, the Zen Garden can be very beneficial. Oh, yeah, you also have the bee. The bee will quicken up the time. Whether it be minus one minute or even minus 15, depending on how long it takes. Now, basically what the Zen Garden does is, you know, once you... You... It's not only marigolds you can grow, which marigolds are the ones that ones that produce uh, money. Those of my Plants vs. Zombies 1 fans will probably know how that works. But, um, yeah. And you can also grow other plants, like, say, if I wanted to grow a sunflower. Now, it is random chance. You won't be able to select what plant you grow. But, let's say I got a sunflower and I max it out. Or I completely grew it. Then, what happens is that if I click on this, if I click on the sunflower wall, it's fully grown. Then, basically, think of, basically, the plant will automatically use its special ability already. Like, you know, at, right at the beginning. Like, the sunflower will sprout out all over sun, like, right at the beginning as soon as you plant it. However, it only works once. Match the symbols to destroy the zombies. Oh boy, this mini game is the worst. Wait. Boss, you're using camouflage. You mean camouflage? <laughs> I can joke. So, yeah. This mini game at first, in the beginning, isn't so hard or difficult. But later on, it'll give you so much crap. Like, it will literally be your doom on later levels. Nope. Skull. Nope. Uh, you, yeah. Uh, you get wrecked. You also get wrecked. You. No. You. Jeez, these guys must really, really stinking. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? No. No. These guys must really like cones, but then again, there are cone-head zombies. Uh, no. Maybe. No. Good God. The trick I like to use is just absolutely spam, because there's no penalties for getting it wrong. You can just spam the living crap out of this. I mean, it's the tactic I used, and it worked. At one point. Okay, does this go with anything? Nope, but it does go with that. You go with this. You. No. Um. My gosh! So many cones! And sun. 
Yay. Not too many death skulls, though. Uh, no. Cone. Cone. Sun. No cone. Death skull. No. Jesus Christ, man. No. You see what I mean? This minigame can really give you crap. And apparently, I don't have any lawnmowers placed. Absolutely spam. Just spam it. Spam it. Gosh dang it, just spam it. No, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. No, 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 go die. Die, die, please. No, just no. No, stop it. Stop it, just, just thinking, no. Eh. I mean, if it's this hard at the beginning, you won't believe how it is later on. Oh, God, about time. Okay, what do we got now? Also, since I'm recording on the phone, I'm going to need to watch out for the little audio thing, because I don't want everything to be muffled. What's this? My Google. Google? I, uh... My Google Translator indicates it's zombies of a plan. Is that brain grill? Oh my gosh, they're gonna cook our brains! Yay! But yeah, you won't- I mean, you will not believe how it is at the later levels. But- Oh my gosh, what the heck was up with that? Readings! Temporal- com Wait. Commuters? Oh. Special couriers have been dispatched to retrieve your brains. Please have your release form signed before their arrival. Regards, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. Ooh. Cool, that boss guy wants your autograph. This can't be good. <laughs> Survive a massive attack of ancient Egypt. Oh boy. And we have a gargantuan war. Okay, start placing dumb boomerangs down quickly. You. You get, get placed over here. Uh, you also get placed over here. Oh, uh, good God. Uh, we have, an, uh, we have an ice plant. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you the ice plant. Ice plant's pretty simple. All it does is that it freezes one zombie. You give it a, uh, you give it a special super leaf, I guess. And, um, it freezes the entire, it freezes all zombies on screen. So, it's pretty good. Alright, collect that. Um, put that there. No, bloomerangs are really good. I mean, they do cost, I believe, 175. But, uh, they are really good. Because they can obviously pierce through zombies and these graveyards, which... Graveyards act as obstacles. And like obstacles, they're the most annoying thing ever. Alright. Let's, uh, freeze this guy. Look at that, mate. Not quite like the freeze mushroom, but it'll do. As you see, the walnuts are sort of holding up. Let's give this thing some of that. Ooh. Oh, no, sandstorm. ones. This can't be good. Or at least the bloomerang destroyed the grave. Yeah, blue marines are also very good in counteracting uh, those camel zombies, because they can pierce through all of them. Unless, you know, you have stinging pea shooters, in which case they'll just, apparently they'll demolish everything. Alright, let's start placing uh, these guys in front here. Start placing um, these potato mines back here. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. Oh no, not to more sandstorms. I can't even bear it. Alright, place them where it's most critical. Just, just no bucket head. No. Nobody wants you, bucket head. You're not welcome here in our society. Oh, that got that guy. You can't run away from the ice. Was it like cabbage ice? Or lettuce, or lettuce ice. 
Uh, I forgot the names already. Nope. No, please. And don't even think about moving because we have another guy on you. Ooh, a gem. I will take that, please. Ooh, a sprout. I'll also take that. Oh, a gargantua. I will not take that. But um, all this plant food I'm getting, I'll, I'll definitely take that. Just no. 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 Die. No. No, don't you throw that thing. No. Please, no. Oh, God. No, die. You are not welcome here. Yeah, that's right. Get spud out. Stinking super spud. Okay, so that was the first Gargantuar. We have the final wave incoming, so... Better start repairing them broken walls. Woohoo! Man, that upgrade really does seem to be showing for them walnuts. Except for that guy in the middle. The guy looks like he's seen some serious stuff. Oh no! Oh no, they're everywhere! Quick! We will not lose to a bunch of mindless zombies! Fire the cabbage! Yeah, that's right, though. Teach them. Always oh, gotta eat your greens! Come at me, bro. I dare you. I honestly dare you. I will just absolutely gun you down. Oh no, I put the wrong guy there. I'm sorry. Ooh, um. No, please. Yes, I'm well aware I have a low balance. But at least those two are dead. <laughs> King Nut. Well, he was a nut indeed. Looks like a courier had his own delivery to make. This will be useful for traveling to other times. Yep. Time to open the taco map. Yeah. So yeah, as I mentioned before, there are indeed other worlds with other plants. Each one having their own difficulty and their own variety of zombies and plants, which do their own little thing. Up. Oh. But, yes, I will have to end the episode soon. Um, but before... Oh, wow, we have stinging ten of these things? Good gosh. We can literally unlock pretty much all the worlds. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm not going to do them all at once. I'm going to do them one at a time. So essentially, we just pretty much unlocked everything. Like, like, are, are, are you serious, mate? Alright, let's go. I mean, are there any other of these couriers? Uh, apparently not. Because I knew back in the old game, or back before they updated it, you'd get one key. So you'd kind of have to really sparsely choose where you go. But yeah, we're obviously going to... Keep going in ancient Egypt, move our way up to the Pirate Seas, then to the Wild West, then to the Frostbite Caves, then to the Lost City, then to the Far Future, then to the Dark Ages, and then to the Neon Mixtape Tour, then to the Jurassic March, then to Big Wave Beach, and then to Modern Day. So yeah. I am back on, I am back with my shenanigans. I will see you guys later. Now, I won't, now, obviously... This doesn't mean that I will be uploading, like, you know, every day or all that, and the streams, uh, I will be canceling them out for a little bit, but just be, but this video will be upload, I mean, uploaded, just to show you that, no, I'm not quitting YouTube, I'm not, I'm not that irrelevant yet, am I? I sure, I sure, I am not, <laughs> English. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later for more Plants vs. Zombies 2.